So, uh, where am I? I'm in Geneva. Geneva, Switzerland. I've just been to the fountain. Um, I'm gonna go to the United Nations. I know it's closed, but I'm just gonna go look outside. Maybe find a bit of food. On the train, uh, a very nice train. Um, In terms of doing the shop, well, unfortunately for me, uh, because I was working somewhere previously, I was feeling like I had more money than I did, and so I ended up buying a lot of stuff I didn't need. And um, I was thinking about stuff I do need, and here's a list of things I recommend getting. I recommend getting two bank accounts that can be used for travelling abroad, or at the very least, get one bank account that has the ability that if you lose your card, you can get a new card and add it straight away to your Google or Apple wallet because that means if you lose your card you can still carry on using contact contactlessly but I still recommend you get two because sometimes contactless doesn't work and you need the actual chip and pin so I recommend that I recommend um, getting yourself some waterproofs I didn't really have to use them I mean my jacket was decently water resistant uh, but I didn't really end up using the bottom half of my waterproofs my uh, walking boots were waterproof though so I guess that counts um, international chargers quite important I recommend you bring two of those with you Power banks, I bought four. I had a total of 35 milliamp hours altogether between them, so it wasn't that much, but uh, one of them has stopped working, but the rest of them still work, and I recommend you bring quite a few of those. I bought a second phone with me because my first phone was cracked, and I didn't want it to just get wet or something and to stop working. I bought a laptop with me, mainly because I thought I'd be able to do some uh, keyword research for YouTube. Never really got around to doing two. Got a second SIM card because I thought if something happens with connection, I'd rather have another SIM card with me I can do roaming on in case something happens. But... I realised while I was abroad that uh, a lot of the time my SIM cards were working on the same network for roaming so it was kind of pointless to have a second one. I bought a, well my rucksack obviously, it's quite a good, uh, it's quite an important thing that like you get the best one, spend the extra money because you don't forget you're going to be wearing that a lot and you're going to need to feel comfortable on it so uh, I got a good rucksack but shoes very important, I had Maridel, um, Maridel walking shoes waterproof that's exactly why i got them they fit so nicely and the waterproof uh, i recommend sorting out other redundancy stuff making sure you have extra batteries if you need it extra clothes if you need it money in cash that's quite in cash and money money in cash is quite important that you have something physical i didn't a lot of the time but i'd say make sure you do as well as that um locks very important you'll need that for hostels don't make the mistake i did i got a a thick shackle but it wasn't very long and so it had trouble trying to fit in a lot of the time so the actual place where it needs to lock I recommend you get something that's slightly longer and is a little bit on the thin side but not too thin because sometimes you don't have a lot of space for it to go through so it can't be too thick but I had a really really thin lock which did the trick if I needed another thing to consider is packing cubes so I'm going to show you a video of how a packing cube can help you so I'm going to explain about how compress, compression packing cubes can help. So for example, I've got some clothes in here right now and you can see the size of it roughly. So if I, we go, so you can see, and it's like that. Now, it has a normal zip, but then it also has its compression zip. And as you can see, as it goes round, it pulls it together like this, and pulls together, pulls together, pulls together, and then it wraps back round again and pulls in. So if I start doing it now, smaller um, it kind of curves around a bit but it's smaller now and it means when you've got a lot of stuff to fit in a bag use these and you can get it in it's not the best for easy access but it certainly does exactly what it's supposed to do I bought the kip, uh, kip away ones from Amazon I had five plus a little bag I think of different sizes and they're really helpful so really quick other things you should bring with you so obviously you've got your rucksack 
This is really big and you don't want to be carrying it all the time. So you bring yourself a day bag. This is mine. It's really good for certain, well, for short trips. I had a very, uh, I had a lot of short turnarounds, so I didn't get to use it as much as I wanted to, but it did the trick when I did use it. And it's my own fault if I didn't use it as much, but get yourself a day bag because it's something that you'll need a lot. Second thing, if you're going to be flying before you do your interrail, get yourself a, duff, a duffel bag or something to put your rucksack in. This will protect it at the airport because the strings and everything can get caught in the conveyor belt or the conveyor belt can damage it. So I've got a duffel bag in here and it's in this other bag because it fits in my bag when it's like this. So that's how I stored it and I put this in my rucksack while I was travelling. Dry sacks, very important. My bag has one built into it so I can pull it over, but also if I had something liquidy that I didn't want leaking in my bag, I could put it inside of here that would stop it from going anywhere else outside of this bag if it did leak. And let's say the rain somehow got into my bag anyway, even with the cover over my bag, I could then protect my most valuable stuff inside of a bag. So that's why you need dry bag. This here, courtesy of Unjaded Jade, uh, she gave me the idea, is what I mean. So this is a bum bag and essentially you can wear it, put your passport, wallet, an extra card, anything like that in here to keep it a bit safe. I didn't really use it too much. I ended up using it once or twice to justify why I bought it really, but personally, I didn't really need it, but I would still advise getting it because it just means you keep your stuff very safe and with you. So there's this. And lastly, microfiber towel. These dry very, these dry very quick. And they, do, they can smell quite a bit though. So if you don't give them enough time to dry out, they will smell a bit, but they don't dry. They don't take a lot of time to dry anyway. But they fold up nice and small, so as you can see, almost fits in my hand. And that is a decent sized towel, so get yourself a microfiber towel. Yeah, I'm on the train, I'm going to Sweden. We got to Stockholm Central late. I've just sat here eating some crisps right now. Um, because we got there late, I missed my connection to Master Station.